In order to group objects together, select all of the objects you want to group and select the group icon which is located here. The shortcut for this is Ctrl and G. This will then make all of the items a group and they will all become purple. You can then select one object and it will select all of them. To ungroup, certain icons will have a small triangle on the bottom right. This denotes that there is a flyout menu. The group and ungroup icons are located in one of those. If I left click on the group icon I just selected and hold the mouse button down, it will display the flyout menu. Ungroup is located here and the shortcut for it is Ctrl and U. Another way to ungroup is to right click on the object. Although doing this you will see that there are two different options to ungroup. The ungroup vectors one is the one that has an icon. There is also another one, ungroup all. This is really useful when creating text because if you've created any text it is grouped twice because of the islands inside the individual letters. Here you can see I've ungrouped some letters but each individual letter is still grouped so I would need to ungroup each individual letter. The ungroup all does exactly that. It ungroups everything so each vector is individual. Joining. When machining, you will most likely need to join vectors together so you can machine a continuous line. Here you can see what looks like a rectangle but is in fact two separate lines. This is really easy to spot by just selecting for this example, we can see the pink selected line is not a rectangle. We should also note the start and end point of the vector, as this helps when it is harder to spot that the lines are not joined. The start point is green and the end is red. To join these two vectors together, select one vector, then press and hold shift on the keyboard and select the other vector. Select the vector drop down and then select to join with coincident nodes. This will open a small dialog and then select join. Closing. When I select the right rectangle, we see that something is not right because we can see an end point in red. Normally, you would just see a green point for the start point. So, if I zoom in on this area, you can see that there is a piece missing from the end. This can be fixed really easily by selecting the vector drop down again. Select Close. I'll choose the option that best suits this example, Close with a line, and it will create a line in the gap and join the whole rectangle.